What should we anticipate the impact of this hike will be in terms of lending rates? I know that State Bank of India had actually in some ways preempted and hiked some deposit rates ahead of the policy decision. Uh, well, as far as the deposit rate hike which we have done, it is uh, it was nothing to do in terms of preemption the interest rate hike in the policy announced by RBI. But nevertheless, it was in line with uh, in line with our assessment of the ALCO in terms of uh, the the various buckets, because we have actually increased the in interest rates in, in in some of the buckets depending upon our ALCO's requirement and. So I think that is uh, as far as uh, we have not preempted uh, any kind of interest rate hike. But nevertheless, uh, when it comes to uh, the kind of scenario for the banking industry in terms of interest rate hike, uh, I think more than the policy, it is also a function of the demand and supply. And also, if at all there is a credit demand, right kind of a credit uh, proposals are there. Uh, all the lenders are there to offer at very, very competitive rates. So I think per se it will for the right kind of a lending opportunity. I don't expect any kind of a experience in terms of a hike in interest rate. That's what my sense is. Uh, should we expect MCLRs to go up? I understand that you know uh, individual spreads can be adjusted, and hence depositors uh, who are highly coveted, like AAA borrowers, will probably not uh, you know feel the heat from this. Uh, but overall, the MCLRs would you expect them to rise any further, sir, over the course of this year, uh, given the current liquidity scenarios? If that changes, then of course. Uh, no, of course, the, as far as the liquidity scenario is concerned, there are concerns which are there in the in the market. But uh, as I mentioned that it would be a function of the demand and supply once again. If at all we'll get to see a lot of credit in, uh, demand, and uh, at that point of time maybe it might have a bearing on the MCLR. But otherwise, uh, as of now, because you know when it comes to MCLR is something which is formula based, which is actually depending upon uh, the cost of deposit, cost of credit, so all such kind of components are there. So I think uh, I don't really expect that uh, it will uh, it will lead to an increase in MCLR. But yes, of course, if at all there is a significant increase in the credit and uh, then the cost of credit goes up, then possibly it can have an impact on uh, the 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 MCLR function. But I think. It is something which is more market determined than the, than the policy rate impact.